Hi. One thing I forgot while discussing Colpit oscillator is that the frequency of oscillation. The frequency of oscillation is given by 1 by 2 pi root LC. Here the capacitances are connected in series. So I am calling it as CT, the total capacitance of the tank circuit is given by C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So this is the frequency of oscillation of a coil pit oscillator. And the main use of this coil pit oscillator is in the commercial function generators. It is widely used in commercial function generators which produces frequency up to 100 megahertz. So that's all about the culpit oscillator. Now let's the discuss another LC oscillator which is called the Hartley oscillator. Hartley is uh, Ralph Hartley is also an American engineer. He designed this oscillator in 1915. He is almost uh, similar to that of a culpit oscillator except that uh, in the tank circuit of the culpit oscillator we will have an inductance coil L and two capacitances C1, C2 but here we will have a capacit single capacitor C and uh, a potential divider formed by two inductances L1 and L2 connected in series and uh, the, the uh, in between them is ground is connected so that it becomes a voltage divider arrangement. So all the rest of the circuit is exactly similar to the Hall pit oscillator so I am not discussing the buttons of the other remaining components in the circuit. So when the VCC is switched on then the DC voltage through the RF coil flows and which will charge the capacitance C and uh, this after the capacitor is fully charged it will discharge through L1 and L2. Here the output voltage V out will appear across the inductance coil L1 and uh, the voltage appearing across the L2 the inductance coil L2 will serve as the feedback voltage now if you consider the input voltage here this output voltage will be 180 degree phase difference due to this transistor action and uh, this output voltage appearing across L1 here it is positive and negative and uh, we will have here negative and positive so when we consider the voltages across these two inductances this voltage divider arrangement of L1 L2 introduces a further 180 degree phase difference so the output voltage and the voltage across L2 will that is VF will have a again a 180 degree phase difference so when we consider the input and uh, the feedback voltage there will be total of 360 degree phase difference. So once again the input and output of this transistor will have a 180 degree phase difference. The output voltage of this transistor will appear across L1 for that consider this diagram the output voltage of this L1 is appearing ac sorry output voltage of the trans uh, transistor circuit appearing across L1 and uh, the voltage appearing across L2 will have a 180 degree phase difference so if you consider the input and the voltage across L2 there will be a 360 degree phase difference but the voltage across L2 is the feedback voltage since because it is connected to the base terminal so the voltage across L2 
will appear in the input terminal so as the feedback voltage so input voltage and the feedback voltage are in the same phase so we can say that there is a positive feedback in this circuit and uh, here also the output is connected to the tank circuit so a portion of the output voltage will compensate the losses in the tank circuit so the requirement of uh, uh, producing sustainable oscillation sustained oscillations or undamped oscillations is fulfilled by these two setups that is the voltage feedback voltage and uh, uh, is in phase to the input of the base or input of the base of the transistor so that uh, there is a positive feedback and the losses in the tank circuit is compensated by a fraction of the output voltage so we will have a, an undamped oscillations in the output now if we consider the frequency of oscillation of the circuit it is uh, f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc again but here l is l total into c because we are we are having two inductances exactly the l total will be l1 plus the l2 the parallel combinations of these two l1 plus l2 plus 2m sorry this is a series combination of uh, L1 and L2 forms L1 plus L2 plus 2m but in practical cases we will consider this mutual inductance to be the most zero so in practical cases we will consider L1 L total is equal to L1 plus L2 and uh, now if we consider this two circuit this circuit here the output voltage is the volt appearing across the L1 so voltage across L1 and the feedback voltage is the voltage across L2 so if we consider the feedback fraction MV it will be given by Vf by V out which is equal to VL2 divided by VL1 which is equal to XL2 divided by XL1 which is equal to XL is L omega so L2 divided by L1 so the feedback fraction in this case is given by L2 by L1 and this uh, Hartley oscillator is popular as a pulpit oscillator and it is widely used as a local oscillator in radio receivers so this hardly oscillator is used in radio receivers okay thank you